So as you can see, uh, we have uh, our main activity shown because uh, this is our first install. And if we run again this uh, application, we will get a second activity, which means uh, the main activity was shown only the first time a user installed the application. And again, we will run this application and as you can see, we uh, have second activity running out. Uh, hello guys and uh, welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can uh, uh, make your activity appear only the first time uh, you install the application. So this can be pretty useful when you are creating uh, intro screens or uh, onboarding screens and so on. Uh, so first uh, create one simple project and uh, I need to wait until uh, Android Studio finish building this exact project, so it might take some time. Okay, I think uh, it's finished. So the next thing what we are going to do, we are going to create uh, one more activity, uh, empty activity, uh, just uh, we will name it second activity and okay and the next thing we are going to open activity main layout and we are going to rename this text to uh, main activity uh, we're going to change the text size and text color text size should be let's say 30 sp and the text color uh, color primary let's say color primary okay so it should look something like that simple but uh, in order to show you the main function of this tutorial so uh, in the second activity layout uh, we're going to create one text again on the center of the screen um, like it is on the main activity uh, layout so we're going to change the text to second activity we're going to put a space uh, between that like we have on the main activity and then uh, we're going to change the text color and text size and it will be the same as uh, in the our previous layout like that so now we will start uh, with the code open up uh, main activity and we are going to create uh, shared preferences uh, we're going to create a reference to shared preferences uh, click uh, get shared preferences and uh, in the name type the name of the file in which will uh, you save this uh, little preferences and uh, the second parameter is mode uh, if mode is private then uh, only your application can access uh, access uh, your preferences so now we are going to uh, add uh, one string in um, in a term of key and value so the key will be first time install and the value would be yes and then just use method apply to to save this uh, this little uh, key and value uh, the next thing we are going to do uh, we're going to cut this here a little bit above and we are going to use uh, this uh, preferences uh, reference to read uh, the preferences we have already saved or now we will see uh, but uh, we will put these preferences in a string named first time so we'll use method to get string to uh, to get this first time stall because this uh, the string uh, is uh, with the same key okay and uh, as a second parameter put uh, an empty string so now we will use if statement so if first time string is equals to uh, we'll say yes then we will uh, run the intent and else we will create this this uh, preferences 
so we are going to use intent to start uh, second activity. So if uh, this uh, string contains the preferences uh, of yes value, then it will start the activity, but if it doesn't contain the yes, then it will create the yes. So it means uh, it will create the first time when the user starts this, activity, uh, this application, and uh, every second start of this application will check if uh, if it contains these uh, preferences we have already saved. So uh, this is uh, not uh, a complicated code, it's a simple code used in every day's uh, work. I just added a few comments here so you uh, know what uh, all those codes uh, are for. And uh, after that we are going to open up and start our application. In our, uh, in our Android emulator. Okay. Now we will delete this uh, previous application and uh, we will wait until the new one starts. So, as you can see, uh, we have uh, our main activity shown because uh, this is our first install. And if we run again this uh, application, we will get a second activity. Which means uh, the main activity was shown only the first time a user installed the application. And again we will run this application and as you can see we uh, have second activity running out. So uh, our main activity was, uh, was running just the first time a user installed the application. So instead of that uh, main activity you can add uh, your intro activity or uh, intro fragments or anything else. So that was it for this tutorial, uh, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, please subscribe to my channel if you like uh, my content and uh, see you in the next video.